Okay, hello! Sorry that took a few minutes, but Tito, hello, welcome. Fragility, thank you for the follow. How are you doing tonight? There are your cookies there, Batito. Oh, God. So, it's been a few days since I last played this, and I don't remember where we left off. <laughs> I remember... a weird, bizarre castle defense type of game. So, let's just jump into it, I guess. Trying to break into an ancient library, as I recall, with several keys. Um, oh, oh, right, we're look, learning how to hook onto things. That's just solid ground, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Down we go. There you are, Matito. You just need a library card, no need to break it. <laughs> I tried that, it didn't work. They were having none of it. So how's your night going so far, Potato? I guess we're going over this way. No, no, no. Stop it. Lurking, play games. Are you playing on your new PS2? And if you are, what game? On the attack. The Galata Den is now secure, but Yusuf has not returned from his... Oh, right! Yeah, because this is shortly after the stupid tower defense game. So now we have to go make sure our partner in crime here is okay, I guess. Go to the Imperial North Den near the Bazaar to find him. And we're going to have to do it again, aren't we? Do not create any conflict in the Imperial North District. Oh, I can already tell you we're going to fail that. Now, yes, the Xbox. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Are you just so over... Come meet my new friends! Oh, I guess it's a specific region that we have to go into. So, are you so overcome with all the different awesome titles that you have to choose from for your PS2 that you can't decide? So, you're sticking with what you already had? Is that it? <laughs> Alright, let's... Whoops! Um... Great start. All right. Let's go help our friend. There we go. Why did he, like, nose... Not nose dive, but he, like, face planted there. I tried to lock on, he just like flopped over. See. By about 25 years. I was too late to save the bazaar then, unfortunately. But now that my army has doubled in size, we'll take it back together. This way! When the Templars take control of a district, they flaunt their presence. Hanging banners, extorting the merchants, it's a constant battle to keep them at bay. And they rub our noses in every victory. 
They are quite bold. Why does the Sultan tolerate this? Sultan Bayezid is far away, Ezio. Warring with his son Selim, many Fersa northwest of the city. He has been away for years, at least since the earthquake, and maybe even before. He is blind to all this turmoil. I'm not moving at you, by the way. See. Hem de fall, Tashikibi. Believe it. Oh god, are we gonna have to tower defense again? Too many to engage directly. Nah, I am not confident a smoke bomb will help us here. Smoke bomb? It's you. It's time you Italians joined the 16th century. These do not obscure. They distract. Oh, so they're noisemakers. They can't resist. Let's move. You are full of surprises today. Crafting explosives is a new hobby. One we borrowed from the Chinese and have taken to with great passion. You will have to teach me. Uh, who is the mentor here, Ezio? <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> the Italians rely more on skill than tricks. Uh, no, it's still the baseball season, so I must finish. Oh, okay. Well, all right, that's fair. That's fair. Life is strange season soon after. <laughs> So, um, don't know if you read the title, but, um, I believe the Olympics have either finished up or are in the process of finishing up. I think they finished up over the weekend. Did you watch them at all? Kuno! <laughs> How you doing tonight? There we go. Big cuddly panda hugs for you. How are you this evening? Doing well, I hope. Doing good. Just got back from Cap. Sorry, I'm a little dumb. Can you tell me what Cap is? <laughs> But welcome back. I don't know if Canada did well, but the U.S. sure did. Um, so Canada broke a lot of nationwide records, like its own, like our own country's records. A lot of those got broken this year, apparently. Um, and a world record got broken in the decathlon. Uh, What's his name? De DeGrasse, I think it was called, his name. Um, scored, I haven't watched the decathlon. I have no idea how it goes down, but apparently he scored the highest number of points ever in a decathlon. So, yay! <laughs> but yeah, I'm not surprised. The U.S. always racks up like a gazillion medals, so. Good on you guys. <laughs> Feel like we've been through this? Oh, we probably have. It's been a while, though. Civil Air Patrol. It's a uh, military-esque sort of thing under the Air Force, but for kids. When you say kids, you mean, like, people that are looking to go into the military, right? Or are you like a mentor there? Because I'm fairly confident you're not a kid. <laughs> That's the main reason why I'm asking. But yeah, this sort of sounds familiar. I, I know you have a vested interest in... Like... Well, just military in general, so... Twelve to nineteen, it's really just like volunteer service, but you get to wear an Air Force uniform. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's like the uh, the prelude. Gives you a taste of 
what it would be like to actually join, if that's something that you want to do. Fun fact, I'm 17. You know this is 18 plus, right? <laughs> Like Boy Scouts, but with planes. Yeah, okay, that's what I was wondering. Because that's I wanted to say that, but I don't know anything about <laughs> the American versions of those programs, so I assumed. Your turn. Make me proud. Oh, goody, let's make noises. Cherry bomb. R2. Cherry bomb. Oh, we can, like, lob it in the air. Lobbed! Did you hear that scream when it went off? There they go. Oh, come here. Hurry, we're nearly there. Oh, right, the hook. It's going to take me some time to get used to that. This is another <laughs> Kuno, don't be searching me. Um, so, Kuno, did you watch the Olympics at all? Uh, admittedly, most of my Olympics um, knowledge for this year was mostly from what I heard after the fact. I didn't really watch it. Um, I had intended to, just never got around to it. Because I'm... I'm, I'm I'm terrible like that. But, um... Part of me still wonders if it was... A good idea. You didn't, unfortunately? Did, are, do you have an interest in the Olympics at all? Like, when it normally comes up, is it ever something that you're, like, excited about or anything? Um... Like... So they delayed it by a year. It was supposed to happen last year. I know that, obviously. Um, they delayed it because of the pandemic. And that's fine. That's a smart move. But there were so many controversies just going into it this year. Like, COVID and non-COVID related. It's just like, yikes. Used to, but nowadays, not as much. Yeah, that's fair. It's cool for sure, though. Do you think it was a good idea for them to host it? Because I'm kind of torn, because I understand, like, the... Like, Japan paid for... Like, they, they bid on it. They spent a ton of money setting up and preparing for it. And you don't want to see that go to waste. But at the same time, none of the... protections to keep people from getting sick worked... Because people got sick almost immediately. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes and <laughs> Yes and no. I'm interested in basketball and the Americans better be good in the shooting competitions. <laughs> oh, God, that's too funny. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're from Texas, Petito. I thought you had to be, like, a massive football fan. That's that's what I've always heard. Football's supposed to trump everything, isn't it? <laughs> Gunslinging cowboy football fans. Te yeah, Texas Cowboys, that's right. I like sports in general. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. Oh, God. I'm trying to remember. Wait. There was a sport I heard about 
while the, the games were going on. It was like Canada and U.S. were supposed to play against each other. Canada actually beat the U.S., which surprises me because I it wasn't really a sport. Was it was it basketball? It wasn't the finals. It was like the semis, I think. I can't remember. Silence fills the empty grave now that I have gone, but my mind is not at rest for questions linger on. I like that. <laughs> We're going to have to have like a poetry corner here or something. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Armageddon? It's great to see you. How are you? Let's give you a quick shout out here. There we go. Last thing playing Super Mario RPG. Yes, Legend of the Seven Stars. So for anyone that has not followed Armageddon, or Armaverse as he's now known, um, he normally plays uh, spooky, scary games, Resident Evil typically, but has adventured out to the wonderful world of crowd-controlled Mario RPG. How was that going for you, by the way? To quote what I figured it was a quote. I feel like I've heard it somewhere before, and I'm gonna face palm as soon as I hear it because I got a feeling I should know who it is. Doing well. Had a long day at work today, so relaxing. How is your job, by the way? You've been there for a couple of weeks now, right? Final boss fight was a panic. Like five different people started. <laughs> Final boss, wait. So you beat it already? The job culture is actually fantastic. Oh, that's good. I'm actually a little envious of you because where I'm at now, the job culture is not fantastic. Um, so I'm really glad because you were kind of apprehensive about what this was going to be like a little bit, right? So especially since you liked your other job better. So I'm glad it's working out for you. Took a big assessment for my training. Streamed an hour late to finish. Oh, okay. That is a short game. Or did you just stream for... How long were your streams typically when you were streaming it? I feel it's a better choice, but I was definitely skeptical at first. Well, I'm... Skepticism's always good to have. Like, it keeps you aware of any red flags. But I'm glad that it wasn't necessary. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that you're settling in nicely, so to speak. Yeah, definitely not as long as it was. FF... <laughs> okay, I wouldn't have assumed it was going to be as long as FF9, which for anyone who doesn't know, Final Fantasy IX is four discs long. Mario RPG is on a SNES cart. <laughs> so, <laughs> no way would I have thought they were comparable, but... Streamed a total of 10 hours on that game or something. 10 hours? Well, I mean... Yeah, that still seems kind of short. I mean, you kind of know what you're doing, too, which helps, right? Even when people are messing around with you. Like, I know you said you hadn't played it in years, but... You still have a bit of a base, right? Like, I've never played the game. I feel like if I were playing it, it would probably take me probably at least an extra five hours to get through it. Just because I've got no idea what I'd be doing. <clears throat> but that's just me. Death, taken by Templars, as you can see. Somewhere among this rabble is a Templar captain. Kill him, then climb the tower and light their signal fire. This warns the Templars that it is time to pack up and go. Bene, you create a distraction. I will send them home. It's so weird seeing Ezio so old. Controlling Constantinople. Attacking and taking control of a Templar on den allows you to clear the area, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how I feel. Okay. So this part of this game reminds me a lot of 
If anyone's played it, San Andreas. Now, it wasn't mandatory until later parts of the game, but there's a part of the game where you actually control hoods, neighborhoods, based on your gang affiliation. That's what this feels like. This feels like we're... Like, in the last game, you had to kill a few people, you had to scale, you had to set it on fire, and then you had to dramatically jump out while it blew up. Michael Bay style. Alright, fine, whatever. A little puzzle I missed to try to figure out how to climb the tower. A little action when you kill some guards. Takes you a few minutes. Fine, whatever. This... It's just like a big giant what? <laughs> like at the end of the last stream, we had like the build up barriers down this street and we had to post sharpshooters and gunslingers and captains as enemies would run down the street and try to destroy the barriers before they could make it to the other side. Like one of those really corny mobile games that's like... What, what is this? Anyways, I'm done ranting. Uh, people just chilling on the roofs for no reason. No, it's Assassin's Creed. Guards get posted on the rooftops all the time. <laughs> it's not... That, sadly, that's the least strange thing here. I'm just asking to get killed. Yeah, th th that's what they are. They're fodder. You're asking me, a GTA fan... <laughs> Well, there's other people in chat. They might not have played. So you especially know what I'm talking about, though, Patina. That's good. <laughs> Is that what this kind of reminds you of? Like, maybe not the methodology of taking over a region, but definitely the act of doing so, if that makes sense. Hey! Get down from there! Over here. Alright, you just keep locking. I'm gonna try to punch you off. There we go! Oh, I'm not supposed to fall too. I'm gonna punch you in the groin! Or not. Why are my fists out? Oh. Ouch. Apparently I can't pick up the gun, so I'll just kick it. Become anonymous to interact. Ow! That was not what I wanted to do. Now I've got one less parachute. Okay, we're anonymous now. It's a lot easier to become anonymous in this game. Or the game is just making it easier because of the mission we're on. Uh, I ain't into GTA, but, like, all my friends were back in the day. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of took a bullet to the face. It's okay. Getting ready to fist, I see. <laughs> Against my will, yes. Then I got shot in the face. Whenever the Templars commandeer one of our dance. They leave a captain in charge. Search the area carefully, and you might see him strutting about like he That's what she said! Use those legendary senses of yours, Ezio, and scan the streets. You'll find our target. Alright. Let's get our 
bullets out. Bam! Shot him in the back. I am an assassin, so, you know. That I got shot in the... F yeah. Tried to give a good fisting, and then I got shot in the face. It's the story of my life. <laughs> Where am I going? Are you a guard? Alright, screw it. That, that didn't work. I thought he would leap off with, uh... Hi! Sure, what just happened there? I must have got hit by a rock then or something. Do I have to sink? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Alright, I guess we still get to keep the Michael Bay shot. was gonna blow up. Guess we finished, yeah, sequence two. In the last game, when you lit something on fire, there was, like, visible debris flying everywhere. Michael Bay would have been happy. I'm seeing very strange activity in the Animus. Oh? The CPU should be fairly idle, but the system monitor is spiking regularly. Sometimes as high as 85%. Is it serious? I'm not sure. Desmond's signs are stable. Well, if there isn't a problem, let's not try to fix anything. Fair enough. God, I need a drink. <sighs> Actually, so do I. Uh, but I've got water, though, so one sec. Sixteen? Desmond, think about this. What if I went with you? With me? It could work. Where? Just for a while. Until I found a way out. Another body, maybe, or a... I don't know. I just... I don't want to be here anymore. That's... That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Huh. I guess I had my chance. <laughs> and I wasted it. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. 
I didn't expect that reveal to be so soon. Were they close? Desmond and Lucy? I mean, closer than friends? Uh, well, there was the occasional misty-eyed moment, but... Uh... She liked him, Bill. That's what she told me. Hmm. Interesting. That's it? Just interesting? I spent a lot of time training each of them when they were younger. She was a remarkable woman. I just find this whole situation... quite sad. Sad? Are you finally getting soft on us, Bill? Claudia, Constantinopoli, called Istanbul by the Turks, has welcomed me as one of its own. The assassins here, led by an affable fighter named Yusuf, take great pride in their city. A place as diverse and colorful as one could imagine. But it is a troubled city, too. A rebellious faction of Byzantine Templars still fights to retain influence. And their recent attacks have delayed my search for the Masyaf keys. But this will not last. As soon as I am able, I will begin looking for Nicolo Polo's former trading post. In search of clues that will bring me nearer to the Masyaf keys. Did we do? We have won the day and recovered that den. But we lost a few friends in this fight. So much death for so little gain. You have some experience recruiting new assassins, do you not? More than a little. The people here are quite sick of these Templar attacks. Can you turn on your charms and find us a few more recruits? See, si. But this den will not do for training them. Not this soon. A good point. Speak with one of my men in Galata after you are finished. He can help you begin their training. Oh goody, we get to rescue people again. New items unlocked in the blacksmith shops. At least it tells you when you can go get stuff now. So yay. Templar awareness. The illegal actions will make Templars aware of assassin activities in the city once they're... Bleh. Oh, it's notoriety, basically. What is that? Treasure! Ezio still climbs like a champ. I don't care what anyone says. Except for when I forget to press the jump button. Um, is 
Alexia, what are you doing? Down, please. There you go. Ready. Apparently there was hay. Whatever. It's fine. Alright, what do we got going on over here? Are you a compassionate man, Effendi? Can you help me? That I stole fruit from a vendor, I will not deny. But only because my hunger has trumped my honesty. Bring me the key to these chains, and I will repay you tenfold. The prisoner. A man has been arrested for stealing food. Show him some mercy. Wait right here. Obviously. <laughs> Phosphorion and Nereon, what? I, I don't know what I was talking about. Whatever. Moving on. I'm assuming I have to go over here. So I have to go up. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. in the roof. Okay. Cut clothes like that. Is for him. Where's he? What a blandish. Cut him off. No. Denied. Apparently 
there was a leap of faith somewhere. Oh well. Okay. Curious. You humble me, offend him. I will return to the merchant I robbed and show him the same kindness. After you have cleared your conscience, amigo, consider joining our cause. To be an honest man, one needs honest work. I would be honored. Saul. It's kind of funny, because assassins by their very nature are not honest. They're shady and shadowy and secretive. That, that's kind of the whole point of what they're supposed to be. Apparently we unlocked a bunch of challenges. Stalkers! Sure. Where am I going? We'll go for a swim. All right, well, I'll just enjoy a nice evening swim. Get the blood flow going. So how's your baseball league shaping up, Petito? It's been a long time since I've played a sports game where um, I've actually played like a league. I always enjoyed the, uh, the concept of it though. I have so many players to collect. Uh, are you playing the show? Oh no, Xbox. Actually, the newest show game came out on Xbox, did it not? Okay, are you playing the new one? Because you said earlier that you were on the Xbox, and as far as I know... They've always been Sony exclusive, have they not? Or am I just completely off base? I guess that's possible. <laughs> I heard it's a pretty good game. Not nearly as, um... Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Greedy, I guess? <laughs> as some of the other sports games out there? Oh, apparently he's just already able to... Throw money. Oh, God. How has there been four of these games and they still think this is okay? Get out of my way! The armor these guys are wearing are pretty hardcore, wow. And we're here. We're here. It's not sexy time. <laughs> 
actually, I don't know. I don't know what this quest is. I thought I told you this. The show is also... Okay, I know the newest one is, but I know that they weren't previously. So I don't know when they started being on Xbox as well. I feel like that's a recent development, so that's what I was more asking about. This year, yeah, okay. Den leader! One of your assassins has gained enough experience to lead one of your assassins' dens. Leaders can progress to the rank of Master Assassin after performing unique missions with you. Once assigned as a den leader, that assassin will be linked permanently to that den, so choose wisely. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name because I will definitely butcher it, and I don't want to do that. Uh, this is... no, somebody else. That's not the guy I rescued, is it? This guy here? I don't think so. Four, six, eight, ten. Oh, we can get up to twelve this time. Alright, I'm assuming we have to pick him, so... Are you sure you wanted to sign this assassin? Yes, I am. Talk to your apprentice. Is that the guy I just assigned? The Sentinel, part one. This apprentice is concerned about some suspicious activity in this district. Hear what he has to say. Okay. Mentor, we have a problem. A great many assassins have disappeared in recent months. And I believe I know why. Disappeared? Do you mean they have been killed? I fear so, but there is no time to explain. Hide in the park west of here, and wait for me to arrive. You shall see for yourself. Okay, let's go hide in a park, I guess. So few people. No! Go away! Oh. And you? Okay, fine. Well, this isn't really hiding, but okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to talk to them. I wasn't expecting that. Should be looting them to make sure I can get some like medicine back or something. Yeah, just like that.
Sharpen your senses. There is a danger here I do not fully understand. You keep watch, and I will have a look around. He offers most interesting rebates for larger orders. Free on site justice. for game Oh god, we have to do detective work. man runs with such speed. Stabby! Until that man is caught or killed, I fear none of us will be safe in this city. And until you are properly trained, I will not let you go head to head with a killer as deadly as this man. Let us focus on further honing your skills first. Oh, that's the part one. Okay. Oh! Silliness. I forgot to use my signal. Here. Crafting tables allow you to send your assassins to contracts, upgrade your trainings, and craft bombs. Uh, I guess I'll pick this one. Mediterranean defense. Mediterranean defense feature allows you to send assassins to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's only one contract in Bursa, so the Little Prince. Thirteen thousand five hundred XP. Apparently, he can get it done, though. All right. Start mission. What did you join about the electrics? Uh, sorry, hold on one sec. All right, sorry about that. My cat was sniffing around my PS4. Which, no. <laughs> um, like I said, I didn't watch as many as I had wanted to, but, um, and by that I mean like next to nothing. 
But, um, there's a certain level of pride that I've got for, um, all the Olympians and, um, their achievements this year. Seemed like some, some sort of national record was being broken every day, so <laughs> it felt like it anyways. Yeah, apparently, yeah. There, there was, so there, there was the decathlon Olympian. I already talked about that, and there was one uh, female Olympian. She won like six medals, about halfway through the Olympics or something like that. She's like the most decorated summer Olympian, or she's tied as the most decorated Olympian summer Olympian. With, like, two others that have made the same achievements. Something like that. I don't know if she ended up getting another medal. Why do I think I know that one? Oh, I should probably have paused the game. <laughs> Who needs legs? Well, I'll be. <coughs> by a Greek revivalist gang. Known as the stewards of Byzantium. These thugs see present throughout the city. Yeah. Please, aid your guardsmen and report any information you may have on the matter. But yeah. Honestly, I wish they had either delayed it. That's my big thing, is that I, I feel like they shouldn't have done it this year. They clearly... Something wasn't ready. There were a lot of issues. Also, would you consider posting Capic on Discord or Insta? Um, you're not the first person to ask me that. I, I'm, I have considered it. I feel a little guilty because I, I know it's a cat, but I feel like if I'm not willing to show my face, it's not fair to post a picture of the cat. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But I, I feel like it would just be hypocritical of me. And that's why I haven't done so yet. I might relent. <laughs> that's what it is. It's not like the cat can vouch for it. For itself in that regard. So I can see why, like, some people might think it's silly, but, like. I don't know. I, I can see the hypocrisy in that, and I, I don't want to be hypocritical if I can help it, you know? one picture that I took of him a few years ago. It's like one of my favorites. I might, I might post that one, yeah. Where am I going? Screw it. Just go for a swim. <laughs> this is probably like all you gotta do is talk to the fairy men or something. Like all you gotta do is take a boat over but, eh, this works. Do you have any pets, Petito? It's another one of those things I feel like you've talked about before and I've forgotten because I have the memory of an insect, apparently. All right, let's talk to you. Let's... F ferryman, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not gonna push you. What do you have to say? Yeah, that's. All right. Well, now I know. I guess. 
Actually, do I? With that, I assume that would have taken me north, but I don't know for, for that for a fact. Yeah, Galata. Imperial. Okay. And uh, Bayezid. Oh my god, are we going to cancel Panda? <laughs> no, don't cancel pandas. No pets, it's like taking care of a child. Well, it depends on the pet that you get yourself, right? Like, that's kind of why I prefer cats to dogs, because they can take care of themselves, and the cats that I tend to have as pets um, are usually the ones that, you know, like attention and like pandas in general and don't want to be left alone and ignore everybody all the time <laughs> as is the normal stereotypes that are for cats so but yeah dogs I feel require a lot more care or a lot more attention or whatever term you want to attach to it All right, I guess we're going this way. Oops. Oh, the door. Alright, what do we got going on in here? Any damage? Not that I can see. Byzantine Templars may be bad hosts, but are decent tenants. Once they capture a location, they like to keep it intact. Because they intend to stay. Kessinicle. Well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs, I can show you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't touch that. One wrong move, and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Ezio is not amused. I will get a dog or a cat once I have a bigger home, maybe both. I would suggest starting with the cat. Um, the main re I like dogs too, don't get me wrong. I have no problems with dogs at all, so long as they don't try to eat my face. But, um, I don't like being woken up at four in the morning to have to take them out. <laughs> Especially in the dead of winter when I'm trying not to freeze my balls off. So, yeah, I'd rather have a kitty litter box inside the home. <laughs> And have to deal with that. that. That's my own personal recommendation. But they are obviously very loyal. Very good um, companions to have. So, Bomb crafting. The assassins now have control of the Imperial North Den and Yusuf is at ease. Learn more about bomb crafting before setting out. Okay. Just trying not to blow ourselves up. And is talking about his balls. <laughs> Actually, I'm talking about the cold. And any potential consequences to my balls. <laughs> Am I supposed to be doing something here? Read. No, I don't actually want to... Oh, wait, what? Tripwire, sticky pouch, Datura bomb, smoke screen, cherry bomb, thunder bomb! Sounds like a Pokemon move. Splinter bomb, smoke decoy, decoy. Curious. Keltrop bomb, gold, gold bomb? 
Does it explode with money and makes everyone nearby, if they're not dead, run for it? Ew, blood bomb. And stink bomb. There was a multiplayer component to this game, wasn't there? Is that why we've got all this weirdness to it? Um, I, what do I want to try here? Cherry bomb, let's try that. Cherry bomb explodes with a loud bang, luring all guards within your shot. Oh, it literally just tells you what they all do. Okay. The terracotta shell is a brittle casing that allows the bomb to explode on impact. Metal shell rebounds off surfaces and detonates after three seconds. So it's literal, literally a fuse bomb. Okay. Tripwire shell is laced with thin filaments around its perimeter. The slightest touch will trigger an explosion. So it's more like a mine than sticky pouch. Armed with a five second fuse, this leather pouch is coated with a resin that allows it to stick to almost any surface. So it's like a sticker grenade, okay. The turret bombs release a poisonous cloud that slowly cripples all those who inhale its fumes. Ew. Smoke screen blinds its victims and breaks their line of sight. Use eagle sense to see your enemies through the smoke, okay. Cherry bomb already read. Thunder bomb. The thunder bomb cripples or injures foes with an intense explosive force. Oh, so we injure using sound, which makes sense. Thunder, not lightning. Splinter bomb. The splinter bomb kills or injures by dispersing deadly shrapnel. Okay, yeah. Smoke decoy releases a quiet but persistent smoke signal that lures all soldiers who catch sight of it. So it's a better version of the... Oh. So it's a visual lure as opposed to an audio one, then. Caltrap bomb impedes enemy movement by dispersing small spikes across the ground, rendering its victims vulnerable during a fight. Yep. The gold bomb disperses chunks of glittering pyrite coins, attracting hordes of scrounging citizens. Yeah, okay. Who become aggressive towards any guard who approaches? Why would they become aggressive? Doesn't make sense. Blood bomb expels a thick spray of blood over its victims, stunning them briefly with the fear that they have been badly injured. Okay, so it's a stun. The stink bomb drenches its victims with a foul order, repelling all those who come too close, useful for separating a marked target from innocent crowds. Oh, I'm sure that won't be needed later. I did have a beta fish as my last pet. See, fish is one of those things I've always wanted to get into, but I don't know. I, ha I have this fear of screwing it up. Like, taking care of an aquarium is, it's not a lot of work, but it's easy to screw up, I feel. Plus, you got to be mindful of fish eating other fish, and it's just... I don't know. And plus, usually I have a cat, too, so you got to be mindful of the cat trying to break into the fish tank. It's just it's just a bad time for everyone. <laughs> okay. So that was fun. Why do I have to read the bot? Oh, examine. These are challenges. Skunk oil. Am I supposed to go raid? That's oh my god. We craft our bombs from a combination of three parts. The shell, the gunpowder, and the primary ingredient. Sometimes we add a few extras too, for fun. But we'll come to that later. For now, focus on these elements. For fun. Impact, fuse, trip, sticky. Oh, I see. So they're all categorized and you can have one of each category. Explode on impact. Let's 
see the trip wire and the impact probably. I don't like anything with the timer. So let's go with impact, I guess. Or not. Oh, you're forcing me to pick this? Okay, fine, you suck game. Triangle to test your bomb. Ow. find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal? Si. The Secret Crusade by Niccolo Polo. A Marcos fan? I found this on a Templar in Masyaf. It mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Nicolò brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against time. They found one already, beneath Topkapo. I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? I believe so. Speak with a man named Piri Reis in the bazaar. He can point you in the right direction. And teach you a few more bomb recipes, if you are so inclined. Oh, yay, more bombs! Beta fish are the easiest fish to care for. Uh, they're fighter fish, so you shouldn't keep them with other fish. I thought... Goldfish were the easiest to take care of. I have heard that it's actually less expensive. This is disturbing, by the way. Um, it's less expensive to buy fish and just keep them in the tank as they are until they die and then go buy new fish than it is to actually buy the fish food and feed them so they will live. Which is utterly disgusting, in my opinion. Mine lived for about two years, five is its max lifespan. That's pretty good. See, this, I, it sounds good to me anyways. I, I have no idea. Most, I, I, I believe goldfish are supposed to have. Like, goldfish are the only things I ever really heard about, and even then it wasn't a lot. Um, their lifespans are like, what, a year or something? Not even? I don't know. This is how I leave. My biggest fear, honestly, with aquarium is always uh, like somehow it gets damaged and all the water goes everywhere and the fish die and the, there's a huge mess. That's just an innate fear I have. Heal at some point. 
Alright, what do we got going on in here? Piri Reyes. I think I have seen some of your earliest work. Reyes? <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazin send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Nicolo Polo's former trading post. Ah. You must be that Florence he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? Ezio. I don't hear the difference. Yes. The old polo shop. It's just west of Aya Sofia. Here. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about... specialty bombs. Ah, that man. He is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's Navy, currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. It gives us a... an edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary, and a few peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first. I am eager to learn. Well, no one is stopping you. Just let me know. Yay! We have money! I... I... I, I just... To unfog the map, reach a high... Oh, synchronization. Okay, cool. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Man, I don't know how warm it is in Texas tonight, but it is really warm here. I turned off my AC for uh, for the stream here, and oh my god, so many regrets. <laughs> I need to figure out a way to position my AC so that it doesn't get picked up by the mic as easily, or at all, preferably. So I, I was trying not to butt into you, but okay. Why would I be go oh that's why. Okay, they're guards. Wait, how far am I from that sink point? I am not far. Alright. Let's see if I can do it. What a fantastic Not a good start. What would make a man uh, Did I just hide in the Okay. That's new. I can hide in bushes and foliage, cool. There we go. All the twisty turnies, okay, fine. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you.
Maybe. Yeah, okay. Why didn't you climb up before? Okay. I just realized I haven't picked up any flags or collectibles. I wonder if there's... Oh, God. There's probably feathers in this, isn't there? So, in earlier games, Triangle was Eagle Vision, and it was also your synchronization. Let's actually hit the correct button. Three out of 22. Okay, bye. Uh, there we go. Sorry, hold on one sec. Let me check something real fast. I don't know if those would work, to be honest. I mean, you won't know until you try, I guess. Um, I mean, they certainly couldn't hurt. But, um... I, I think it would be good for eliminating, like... I don't know, I, I just, I gotta look into it more, I guess. I just don't know if there's, like, grades or not. Like, if some are better quality than others. And I don't know if they're any good against... Like, ACs are not the quietest things. So... Mine... please come in. Okay, we can pause it. Um, like, my AC is located behind me. So, not ideal for the mic because it picks it up quite easily. <laughs> um, so, I mean, maybe even rearranging my setup so that it's located behind the mic so that the mic can't pick it up as well or at all. That might be enough. I don't know. It's worth, it's worth looking into, I guess. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? See, si. How did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Ah! Uh... Yes, have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the bag. A familiar face. The Polo's former trading post may contain hints as to the location of the Massey of Keys. Investigate the area to reveal any secrets. Okay. How convenient that it is it's... It is nice to meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. Altre tanto. I assume the Ottoman war with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was a girl. The war pushed us out. But I always knew I would return. Well, I'm grateful that Eagle Vision seems a little more useful. But, oh, in the back, she said. It's still hard to see, though. I, do I need to be an Eagle Vision to interact with it? Is that... Yes, yes I do.
back up here. What am I going to say? 13 an hour and you get paid weekly. Is that a common thing in the States? To get paid weekly? Because your last job was like that too, right? Panda isn't following Panda. I know. What a jerk, right? <laughs> I've enjoyed the streams even though, even after you finished Life is Strange. I'm glad. That makes me happy. I, I know that there's certain things that you should probably do if you want to retain any kind of viewership, which, I mean, even the people that have been here for a long time, we don't even see them around anymore now. And that's fine. That's just life, right? But um, it just it warms my heart when you guys kind of stick around, despite the fact that, like, there's no cam. That's a no-no. Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of fancy things with the stream. It's just the game. Um, I don't stick to one game. I'm all across the board with my games. So... It's hard for anybody that's a fan of one game to stick around because they might not be a fan of the next one. So I I don't know if I've said this in the past. I probably have. But I appreciate that you guys have stuck around. Enjoying my, my brain of insanity. <laughs> I get paid semi-monthly. Okay. Question about that, because that to me implies that you are explicitly paid twice a month, no matter how it works out. Like, sometimes, okay, so we get, I, I'm used to bi-weekly, or bi-weekly is ambiguous to some people, um, every other week, basically. Um, so... Depending on how the pay weeks fall, theoretically, you could be paid three times in the same month if the month is like a five-week month kind of thing. Like, my pay falls on a Wednesday, um, so let's say July 1st lands on a Wednesday, um, I would get paid on the 1st, the 15th, and the 29th, and I would technically have three pays for that month, so... For you, Batito, would it be different? Correct, twice a month. That is so weird. Okay. So, well, I know it's different for different companies, but different regions have different trends depending on that region, right? Some pay you weekly, some pay you bi-weekly, and some pay you monthly. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess... I mean, you guys are a fairly large country. I guess... Just because it tends to be weekly where you're at, Wendigo, doesn't necessarily mean it'd be like that. Like, I know, I've heard that in New York, rent is due weekly, which is so bizarre to me, because everywhere I've ever, I've gone across the country, there's only very few territories and provinces I've never been to, um, no matter where I've gone, whether you're paying for your home, like a mortgage, or you're paying rent, it's always monthly. Every time. So, to hear that it's weekly is just... Weird. Uh, so, I have some good news. Uh, and it, aside from the job getting... I'm always ready to hear some good news when to go hit us with it. Correct. Twice a month. But since the pay period is longer, I get more per paycheck versus bi-weekly. That's cool. It's a different way of doing it. Um, I guess it helps them work out their pay periods more or better or something. I don't know. But hey, if it works. Right? <laughs> what am I doing here? The secret door. Oh. Oh. Oh, I have to do underground gymnastics. Explore the cistern. Oh, okay, those are climbable. Long jump. Press circle in midair before performing. Oh. Oh, the lamp. I didn't even see the lamp. Uh, 
Up. No. Okay. No, we don't. Why would we get the break? Oh, we do get the break of wall with bombs. Maybe. Things down here. We'll find the key soon. <laughs> okay, let's loot. Salt of Petra. Oh, yeah, we got bomb making. Okay. So, when to go? Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> uh, since I'm getting my GED, I've talked to my GED head teacher about some college courses. Signed up for industrial trade courses, but didn't like anything. So I asked about the CDL course. I'm not sure what that is. They'll pay for my whole... Voodoo! Voodoo! I have cookies for you, my friend. Bam! How are you doing today? Um, sorry. Where am I at here? So I asked about the CDL course. They'll pay for my whole college as long as I stay in class and complete the training. Of course, I have to pay them back, but I finally get to be a truck driver. Oh, that's what CDL is. It's, um... Your licensing class. That's cool. That's awesome, Wendigo. Um, when does that start? Or are you still trying to determine if... I'm guessing you're going to go for it, but... Are you still weighing your options, or... <laughs> Voodoo, I am so happy that that's your emote. <laughs> Commercial driver's license, okay. Sorry, I'm not used to the abbreviations. I'm sure you... I know you've told me about this before. I don't know if you used the abbreviation when you told me about it, but even if you had, I remember nothing. So... Nice. <laughs> as soon as I get my GED, I'll be in the course. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Um, are you going to be working, like, consistent, like, day hours or specific shifts, sorry, I should say, at the, at the plant? I'm assuming GED courses are taken in the evening, right? I get to try a prep class, which is a small class to see what you're in for. Oh, prep, like, preparation, yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Make sure it's something that you want. There's nothing worse than paying a bunch of money to get yourself into a program that you think you're going to love, just to find out, like, no. <laughs> no, you don't. Alright, let's craft some bombs. Guessing tactical. I don't remember. I guess it was fuse, wasn't it? Phosphorus. All right, let's test this out because I don't know what it is. Smoke. I don't want smoke. I want explosions. So that was not what we wanted. Blinds. So maybe not phosphorus then. No, no. Oh, lamb's blood. That's what the blood... Okay. Did 
I pick the wrong one? I, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I know I didn't pick up Land's Blood in here. It must have been... Yeah, I guess it's that. Sorry, let me catch up here. I'm doing shift work at the plant, so I won't be at the courses all the time. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can somehow get a video or something about the day I missed so I can get all my credits. Uh, yeah. I mean, you might be able to talk to your instructors. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I guess if you're going to look for, if there's a video or something for you to take, maybe uh, they'll have alternative options as well. Why is that one red? Maybe this isn't what I need. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on anymore, guys. 71,000, very respectable. 13,000, also very respectable. Armour, right, you don't really gamble, though, do you? Like, the others who've had, like, several dozen thousands. <laughs> Is that the right usage of those words? Probably not, but I, who cares. Um, they, they've at least done some gambling to get up there. I don't think I've ever seen you gamble before. Hey, Enchanted, how are you feeling tonight? Nowhere near as many. Yeah, but you're five digits, so... Uh, if you're asking me, I'm doing pretty good. No, you were here earlier, so you're asking Enchanted. <laughs> My whole time playing AC Revelations, I never used the bombs. Good, I'll ignore them then. Chances are I'm not going to be using them either, but it seemed like... Oh, okay, I guess we're watching a cutscene. Look alive, huh? We pay you to watch the doors, not your feet. But they're pretty feet. Kill the Templar Captain. Okay, we're going to pause it so I don't lose him. Just some catching up going on there. Once I get my CDL, I plan to work for the plant as a truck driver for them. That'll be some good money. Or it would be here in Canada. I assume that that type of job would also pay well in the States, too. <laughs> Enchanted getting in on the gambling there. I'm doing good. About to head to bed. Yeah. I might end up leaving a little early tonight, guys. I... It's been a tiring few days. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can tough it out till midnight. I did miss them for uh, Sunday, so... I'll try to kick it up a notch, but... Cold is kicking my butt. Other than that, I'm good. Uh, hopefully you recover soon, Enchanted. Nothing wor I don't know why, but a cold during the summer is just so much worse than a cold during the winter. Anecdotally speaking, anyways, I find it that way. Panda's a feet guy, I see. <laughs> no, actually, not at all. <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you for asking. I'm a little tired, but it's, you know, almost 11 o'clock at night, and it's been a long day, so stands the reason. I need to figure out... Oh, okay. Is he pacing? Oh, he's pacing. What? No. Loot the goodies. British gunpowder. This gunpowder offers wide explosions, allowing it to affect large areas with one bomb. Cool. 
So, large AoE effect. Gotcha. What's in this guy? Impact shells. I need to figure out how to climb. Without being seen. Which isn't gonna happen. Oh God. I'm getting detected, but I really don't care. <laughs> Run! No! Oh, okay, fine. Nice work, Kefas. Those kids no. don't run the road anymore. I like the way you widen your eyes and nostrils. Stop wasting your bullets, that's- Oh, curb stop. Come on. Alright. Oh! Double pierced in the eyeballs. That's that's not what you want. Like, at, at all. That's what we need. We, we need medicine. There's going to be a lot of emphasis on making bombs, even though I'm not planning on doing so. <laughs> I can already tell. Smoke screen. Cool. All right, I've lost track of the bodies, so let's just move on. Um, haven't spoken mixed soup. There you go. Can't stay long, but haven't been able to say hello. Well, I appreciate you saying hello. And I hope you feel better soon. Are you only using your hidden blades? I usually end up using only my hidden blades, yeah. Um... Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll spice things up and switch to my sword, but everything else, so like the hidden blades are fine. They, they do the job perfectly, so. You're, you're talking about in actual combat, right? Because if you're talking about out of combat, I do use other means to... Take out my targets. Oh, this isn't deep at all. Okay. Where are the voices coming from? Alright, well, whatever. Off we go. Up. No. Up. There you go. bomb ingredients. Alright, where are we at here? Petros, make sure we have enough torches for the excavation. I'm tired of stumbling around in the dark. When I played the Ezio Trilogy, I used to challenge myself. One playthrough, I used nothing but my hidden blades. Other playthroughs, I use only a certain weapon, and sometimes I use only my fists. That's fair. There's been games where I've played them so much that, yeah, I would do things to challenge myself to. Um, the only game I did that by accident was um, Dead Space, if anyone's played that. Um, there, there's a specific trophy that you get just by using the plasma cutter, but... Which is the, the starting weapon of the game. Um, but when I compared the plasma cutter to all the other weapons, it just seemed so much more versatile and useful that I didn't want to sink the, the high-costing upgrade, they're called nodes, um, into other weapons if I wasn't going to be using them. So I just stuck with the plasma cutter. 
Um, and apparently that was a challenge that I accidentally undertook. So, yeah, that's my story. <laughs> the next gate key, huh? So, Wendigo, I don't know if I've asked you already or not. Um, okay, I didn't need legs. Um... Or anybody else, Voodoo, Enchanted, if you're still here. Um, if you guys have opinions, feel free to voice them. Um, did anybody watch the Olympics or have an opinion on anything that happened with them? Can we, can we go up? There we go. Oh, hello, friend. And stabby! No, nope, didn't watch them, plus I don't watch TV. Yeah, I, well... I, I try to watch shows, but I don't watch TV, yeah. I forgot I don't have any bullets, but that works. <laughs> He's freaking out! I don't know how to get over there, though. Okay, well, I didn't die horribly. Oh. Apparently, I just needed to kill him, and the key just magically appears in my hand. Cool. <laughs> I won't question it. TV isn't interesting to me anymore. I just watch a handful of shows and sports. Yeah, exactly. I haven't had cable or satellite or anything like that in years. Okay, I don't know if it's been years, but a long time. Um, I have two streaming services, and I barely watch them. Um, over the last almost week, I've been forcing myself to try to catch up on things that I've missed out on, or shows that I was interested in but never finished. And I'm consciously making myself do it. <laughs> so, like, um, there's a couple of things on Amazon Prime. Uh, Prime and Netflix are the two streaming services that I have that I, like, never use. Um, I was watching a show called Invincible. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that. I was like an episode and a half away from finishing the first season and I finally finished it as of last weekend. <clears throat> I have Netflix and Hulu and don't watch anything. Yeah, same here. I only watch you on Twitch or YouTube. And I appreciate that you swing by here on Twitch here, Wendigo. <laughs> and yeah, uh, YouTube is typically, if I do watch anything, it's, it's usually on YouTube. What's the question of the day? I can't read on mobile. Mobile. Um, hello, Skip. By the way, I hope you're well. Um, question of the day is, what are your thoughts on the Olympics? Did you watch them? Did you refuse to watch them? Do you think that they shouldn't have had them at all? Opinions on all the controversies that happened, etc., etc.? Don't search every shadow, please. I would greatly appreciate that. Thanks. How was the rest of uh, Fallout 76, by the way? God, there's so much bomb, like... It's in your face. They're not even trying to be subtle about it. I literally only watch you. I don't watch anyone else. Oh, really? I, I really appreciate that. Truly, Winnego. That's awesome. Thank you. They probably shouldn't have had them, but I just watched basketball when I could. Fucking NBC made a bunch 
of it on Peacock. And I wasn't going to download Peacock. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, okay. Is Peacock the name of NBC's streaming service? Because I know that's their mascot, right? Or like the plume of the of the peacock feathers is supposed to be like their logo or whatever, right? Seventy six was fine. Griefers followed us for a couple servers that really didn't bother me too much. Wait, the guys that stole the launch or whatever? They persisted in their nonsense? Oh my god. Uh, you know, I, I honestly, I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> NBC owns Peacock, yeah. Okay, so Peacock's the name of the streaming service. All right. <laughs> um, sure. I don't know what else they would call it, so I guess it's a good... It's not what I necessarily would have called it, but I got nothing better, so... If you have Xfinity, Peacock is free. Why does that look familiar? What is Xfinity? I know I didn't want to download Peacock or create a login. That's fair. That's the main reason why I don't... Like, people keep telling me I should download Disney Plus or get Disney Plus because I've talked about how far behind I am with uh, the Marvel, the MCU stuff. And I just... I already have two streaming services that I don't use. Why would I sign up for a third? <laughs> And I know it would just be it would be just as bad trying to catch up on there as I have been with all the other shows. So Comcast is Xfinity, they own both the cable company and NBC. Okay. Comcast I've heard of. Apparently all of those major corporations are just one great big massive bag of douche. That's that's what I hear. Comcast, Viacom or something like that. Um at and I don't know if that's in the same realm as the others. Apparently, they're all just great big piles of douche, from what I hear. But I also have Disney Plus. Don't watch it. Yeah, exactly. See, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm. I, I don't. I already feel bad that I'm paying for services I don't tend to use. I'm trying to use them now. Um. And the sad thing is, I found out on the day of the closing ceremonies that um, they were streamed on Prime. Like, Amazon Prime actually had a section where you could watch the Olympics and you could kind of pick and choose whatever sport happened to be airing at the time. Um, and I didn't know that. I probably would have watched more Olympics if I had realized that ahead of time. Viacom, is that what it's called? It's Paramount Plus, AT&T is HBO Max. Yeah, okay. Like, the parent companies I've heard of. Viacom, AT&T, Comcast. I don't know if there's any others. T-Mobile has a device that you can buy and watch YouTube TV or Netflix with it. Well, I mean, and they're incentives, Right. They're, they're ways of trying to pull you in to pay the ridiculous prices so that you don't have to watch as many ads or some nonsense. I have the Disney Plus bundle that has Hulu and ESPN Plus. Of course ESPN would have a streaming service. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. <clears throat> I remember before streaming really, 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 really took off... Um, I was trying to find myself a streaming service for um, hockey games. Um, so I downloaded uh, an app. I didn't have my PC at the time, so this was a few years back. Um, I was trying to find an app, and I thought I had found one for the PlayStation, PS4. And I was so happy, because I'm like, oh, sweet. It turned out just to be like a data app that showed you the scores. <laughs> <laughs> of different games that had played. It didn't actually have 
streaming capabilities. It was just basically like a hockey news app. It was, I was so disheartened by that. <laughs> and I haven't looked for um, any sports streaming services since. <laughs> I used to watch illegal streams from the PS3 web browser. Like, what? <laughs> Are you talking about, like, those sites that host, like, um, host videos and such? I'm trying to remember what they were called back in the day. I can't, I can't remember. There was one. I don't remember what it was called now, but back, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show Lost. This is back when I used to watch TV a little more. Um... I love the show Lost, um, but I was living with um, some people who didn't have cable, and I couldn't afford it of my own at the time, so I had no means of watching Lost, uh, and it was in like the fourth season, and if anyone is familiar with the show, like that's when things kind of really, like the whole show is just really good, in my opinion, but anyways, that's a topic for another day. Um, so I managed to find this one website that would host it like the day after it aired, and that was how I wa That's how I was able to watch season four. <laughs> it's on the stream stock. What do you mean? Yeah, I guess we shouldn't be naming. We're we're, we're not naming anything illegal, so. Of course, a Canadian needs a streaming service for hockey. Shh. <laughs> What's funny is that I think I found a baseball one shortly afterwards by accident, but I was less into baseball than I was into hockey. So um, I think that one would have been a legit streaming service, but I never looked into it, so I don't know. Had a website that would stream sports, including pay-per-views and stuff. Okay. Also, there was one news feed of two and a half men we would watch in the office. Yeah, that sort of sounds like... What I had with Lost. When I go, I don't honestly remember if I said anything. Thank you for hanging out here. Much appreciated. Uh, I hope that your day goes well. Let us know in Discord um, how your new job is. And, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Talking about the streaming sites could be a TOS violation. I need to look that up. I, okay, I know that promoting ones that are not considered legal would be, and that makes sense. It's the same as promoting ROM sites. You, you, you don't do it. No. <laughs> um, but just talking about, like, Netflix in general, I don't think that's against TOS. Without talking about something I did 10 years ago would be TOS. Well, uh, just if we were talking about something that was still functional today. Like, if you named whatever service you were using, and it's still technically illegal, and it still functions today, that would be what would be considered TOS. And by maybe, I mean probably. Oh, sharing these sites, which are shut down at this point, maybe. Probably. Yeah, odds are, but you never know. <clears throat> Yeah, honestly, I can't remember the name of it, but it's probably a good thing, like uh, Batito was saying. I have to go up. Oh. There's no lamp for me to, like... Can I make that? Yes, I can! Jump. There we go. There is someone down here with us. Keep your eyes open and your hands steady. There's no one down here. What are you talking about? You're crazy. We'll go 
for that. Up here we go. I didn't see what my objective was. What was I supposed to do? No one seems to be a leader, so I guess that's not it. Oh, okay, that is it. I just haven't... I'm not close enough, I guess. Um, ah. There we go. Failed the sink. Let's just kill him. You saw nothing. Where is he? They're coming from everywhere. Fast walk out of here. Where is he? Okay, I'm gonna catch up. Hey, Netflix can be illegal if you're stealing it. I don't even know if that's possible though, Skip. <laughs> but fair. Not Netflix, the non legal streaming ones. Yeah, no, that's fair. I was modding another channel, and when someone would ask for a link to those sites to watch at PPV, for example, um, I have to time them out, because that for sure would suspend the stream if someone posted a link. Yes! Yeah, if someone explicitly asks, hey, can you direct me to illegal things? That's not okay. Um, I already brought this up before. Same thing goes for ROMs. If anyone asks for a site to get ROMs for any games um, or emulators, um, that is just as taboo. No, you cannot ask. No. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, exactly. So, Skip, I don't know if I asked you um, to expand. Um, when you say you don't think the Olympics should have happened this year, are you talking about, like, COVID specifically? Because I was telling Batito and the others this earlier, COVID, yeah. Um, yeah, there's, on the flip side, like, I, I definitely agree with you. Like, whatever safeties they thought they had in place, it wasn't enough because there were cases, like, almost immediately. Um, but... The, the, the part that has me torn is the fact that, like, the Japanese government sunk a lot of money, like, a lot of money to prepare for these games for 2020. And they already delayed it a year due to COVID. Um, I don't know if the smart move would have been to delay it another year. I don't know if. Because every city that tends to host it always operates it at a loss. They don't make near the amount of money they put into it whenever they host the games. And that seems to be true no matter where in the world they're held. So I don't know if they were just hoping to get some money or if they just wanted to get it done and over with or what the deal was. Uh, let me catch up. Emulators are legal, but ROMs are not. See, the... F 
Okay, I haven't been catching up on my ROM legality. Back whenever, when I was looking into it, if you already own or can prove that you owned a copy of the game, then you were allowed to have... A ROM was allowed because it's just technically another copy of the game that you already paid for. That might have changed because that's not recent. Um, and that doesn't mean go out there and start blitzing for ROMs, guys. I have no idea legality-wise. Uh, it might just be banned across the board now, which is what Petito's talking about. Um, I just know that that's what it was back when I was looking into it. <clears throat> COVID's about to get super bad slash it already is. Yeah, yeah, they, it's, this is the worst it has been since COVID started in Japan. They did say there was no crossover though. Apparently, who, however, the virus got into the village didn't come from the Japanese population. Apparently somebody brought it in with them from the IOC or other Olympians or somebody within that group. That's what they were saying. I have no idea how much truth there is to that, though. Our office is back to requiring masks for employees and customers. Uh, Texas is one of the hot states, though, right? I typically hear about Florida and California, but I feel like I, there was a third one. I can't quite remember what it was. Was it Texas? ROMs, if you own it, should be fine because there's no difference in the file if I was to connect the card to my CPU and dump the ROM. That's, that was the logic back when I was looking into it. I don't know if that still applies, though. Correct. You have to own the physical copy of the game to have the ROM. Yeah, okay. So that is still a thing. <clears throat> So is it still pretty bad then in Texas or are they just being extra cautious? All right, let's let's finish this up. <laughs> Tired of being in a cistern. Well, if the game tells you to look for secrets, I guess I should look for secrets. Is that a secret or is that the way out? Oh, there's something there. Okay. Alright, fine. I guess I'll ignore that. stuff up, don't I? Um. Do I have to go to... Why was it spinning? Because I'm crazy. Oh. Why 
lamb's blood. Okay. What do you want from me, game? I assume if you wanted me to blow up a wall, you put a bomb station here. The secret door to Sophia's shop is brought to to an underground. No, I'm not reading that. You just, Eagle says to find any hidden secrets. Well, that's useful. Texas is not exactly cautious about COVID. Honestly, pleasantly surprised with Tito's office is requiring masks. Extremely bad, and our governor cares more about voter fraud than COVID. Are we talking about that voter fraud? Like, 2020 federal voter fraud or is there like an upcoming state election and he's just being paranoid he or she I should say <clears throat> okay what exactly am I missing here I can't pick up a hoe <laughs> Okay, one of these just must blow things up, so let's... That's what she said! Cherry bomb. I did not want the sword. Both? Oh, God. I don't envy you. I can't pick up... <laughs> Why would she say that? <laughs> This one is really bad, so let's let's see if this is it. What 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 am I missing here? bombs. Whatever. I could have sworn I looked at this, but I guess not. We have found it. Oh, God. I'm going to have to do this three more times. door, so I guess that makes sense. Yes, it faded away. Okay, good. I guess if I'm locked on. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm just dancing around. Oh god, I'm going to have to do this three more times. <laughs> Salve, Ezio. That took some time. Yes, what did it did. You find? Something that may interest you. 
Mio Dio, che meraviglia! And here is my shop. Look at the margins. Strange symbols. And these are titles of books. Rare books. A few of these have not been seen for more than a millennium. Nicolò Polo hid these books around the city. This map should tell us where. Hmm. You're beginning to interest me. Vaguely. From what I can tell, I need to find these three books first. They may contain clues to locate the rest of these. Molto curioso. Another was found beneath Topkapa Palace, but there is still time to reach the others. Found by whom? Men who do not read. Sophia, can you decipher this map? Help me find these books. Can I borrow them when you are finished? We will work something out. Ah, oh, the flirtatiousness. <laughs> That's it. Just flirtatiousness. Oh, is that... Okay, I guess... We're still in our shop. Is that... Yeah, okay. Let's leave. <laughs> I knew it. You could have used the, um... The text version. Yusuf, salute. Piri told me I might see you here. Did you find what you were looking for? I believe so. This is one of Altair's five keys. A strange artifact. Ah, it is like nothing I have ever seen. You should keep it somewhere safe. At our headquarters, see. I will. What brings you this way? I am coordinating with our allies today. The thieves in the bazaar, the mercenaries near the arsenal. ...and the Romanis in the Constantine district. You are spread a bit thin, Yusuf. Let me speak with the Romanis myself. I have had so little contact with them in the past. That would ease my mind. Why is the sound off? You are in a hurry. You may travel by our network of tunnels. The air down there is a little Grazie. foul, but the rats are no bigger than dogs. <laughs> no bigger than dogs. <laughs> I'm getting... Oh, it's those again. Okay. I'm getting this vague premonition that he's going to betray us by the game's end. I want to be wrong. I hope I am. But I feel like he's going to betray us at the end. Alright. We're done for the evening. I'm getting quite tired. And this feels like a natural stopping point anyways, so. That's what she said. There it is. <laughs> I believe that's called a CD. <laughs> tired boy. I am a tired boy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys for hanging out here tonight. Um, Batino, as always. It has been awesome chatting with you. I appreciate that you've been here since the beginning. Skip, thank you as well for keeping me company. Us company, I guess I should say. Um, everyone that's lurking and hanging out, thank you very much. Um, I've decided that the low numbers aren't going to stop me from rating because they're going to be low. <laughs> It's, it's clear that my numbers are going to be low for the foreseeable future, and I can't let that bother me. It's just that simple. So we are going to send what little support we do have here, and by little I mean tons. I'm very grateful. I hope you guys know that. Uh, we are going to send it to Sir Alan. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen him streaming in a while, so... Let's go say hello. Cookies, thank you. I did forget. Uh, it should be potato still, yeah. There you go, potato. 154,000 cookies. Here you go. At this rate, you're going to be the first one to break a million. 
Your progress has been quite impressive, to be honest. Um, all right, let's head on over. So thank you guys again. I will be back on Thursday with some more revelations. Uh, I am due to get my second COVID shot on Friday. So if I do not feel like complete crap, um, I will try to stream Friday evening. It will probably be X8. Um, it was going to be DVD, but with it being up in the air, I want uh, DVD to be a little more set in stone than it will be this week. So DVD will be next week. Mega Man X8 will be this week if I'm feeling well enough for that. So is that the right Sir Alan? Nope. <laughs> there we go. Good catch, Petito. <laughs> I forgot he had a number in his name, so that completely threw me off. Oh, God. Skip. Shush, okay? I told you I'm a tired person, okay? <laughs> Thank you for catching that. We might have met a new friend, but maybe next time. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys again. Hopefully I'll see you guys on Thursday. I hope you have a wonderful evening.